Hey everybody, SpoonVet here and I um, wanted to show you a cool little utility in uh, Windows which um, uh, I use, or uh, yeah, well I used to use it a lot but then I forgot about it and then I like thought about what can I do for um, Windows videos and I thought well there's a project that I wanted to do but um, and it, it's, it really features layering uh, a, a layer of Linux on top of Windows and so you can use a lot of stuff that you have in Linux uh, amongst them um, being the ability or uh, having the ability to select four desktops like in Mac OS and you, or any Unix platform really so in comes Dexpot or Dexpo I don't know it's, I think it's Dexpot because it's German um, so we're gonna download you're gonna go to dexpot.de and we're just gonna download 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 save file yes because we're in a hurry I don't know why oh yeah you can put that back out uh, blocking. so we can leave that one go English yes please next I agree it's for private use only because I also won't have any uh, monetization on this one uh, we do not want to install PC speed up we do not want bloatware no, sir, we do not. All right, so Dexbot will go into my tool section as well. So yeah, we're gonna run it. So that's the one. Here we go. So and here you have a utility that will have multiple desktops. So on one, uh, we'll start up Firefox. On two, we will start up Firefox as well. Uh, no, we'll start up in. in the, oh no, it loads on. God damn it. We'll, we'll do on the one, Internet Explorer. There we go. So now you can see I have a desktop here which has uh, my Firefox. And I have a desktop here. If it wants to go there, thank you. That is with a Internet Explorer. So that's that's the most simplistic version, or the most simple test I can show you that it works. Uh, you should not run this in a VM actually because it totally messes up your memory. All right. So what do we have? We have um, potentially unprotected. Why? Scan now. Oh yeah. You're updated. Uh, do both. Okay. Go. Right. So. See here we have the four. So we'll go there. What you can also do is select it like that. Um, you can do configure desktops. So here you can say what the property of desktop one is, what its background should be, like uh, what kind of tools you want on there. You could have like a desktop that like hides everything, like uh, like a very clean one. This is for all basically, and you only want it for one. Uh, what it needs to start up when you load the desktop, so you can have like. Uh, Maybe a desktop for system engineers where you already have a command prompt running, uh, uh, you know, resource management and stuff like that. So, or team viewer, for example. Uh, you can have the manager icons. You can make them different. So you get if you like split that, you get four different icons. So that that will be pretty awesome. Um, which in my case is all the same. Uh, let's make desktop to different so 
we got Windows themes, file name, no, no file name, just like, like that. Like Windows themes, I think there was a lot of in here, right? Or, oh, no, there, no, no, sorry, there are in pictures, of course, there are pictures, some pictures. Um, we'll do jellyfish. Yeah, we'll do jellyfish. So, fill, uh, that's apply. All right, all right. Now, it should be. Oh, now the desktop. One and two. Oh, sorry, that's not what I was wanting to do, but. Damn you! I changed all my desktops. That was not what I told you to do. Uh, three desktops. All desktops, background, browse. Uh, I can never find that thing again, of course. Crap. Uh, new picture. Cancel. Ah, uh, damn it. Personalize. I need to find that one. Where were you? Sample pictures now. Windows desktop backgrounds. And then uh, clear all. Because it's no clear all here. It's which one was it again? Ah, oh, there we go. That one. Save changes. All right. Cool. We're back. We're back. We're back. Nothing to worry. Nothing to see. Okay. This is a release candidate, so bear that with me. Um. Oh, you can only do that. Yeah, that's the one that I want. Cool. All right. Thank you, guys. So now we can go to two, background, browse, and select the jellyfish open and now we should only have that on desktop 2 desktop 3 should actually be that one yeah all right so desktop 2 should be that one yes there we go there we go there we go so you can have different uh, backgrounds to different desktops if you want so let me just uh, Make all well, I'll do that later. No, no worries. Uh, now I can do this there. No, browse. No, there we go. Open. Why does not do that? Yep. Alright, apply. Cool. So, and the tools are the same. You can customize it per desktop. But I think that speaks for itself. Next, we have Desktop Manager, which you can easily select from there, which I do not want. You can have Desktop Preview. So, you have a little preview area there that will. Allow you to quickly select and preview stuff, which is something I do not need at the moment. You got desktop windows, and it's basically oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can stylize the icons on all these desktops, and you can also have windows that you can uh, move around and stuff like that. It's also not necessary for now and you have desktop rules which basically makes it so some applications can never start on an on a uh, desk in a desktop environment or others need to start in a specific one and stuff like that you can really customize it to your heart's content and um, you what do we else we have yeah we have settings so I'll just go quickly move through you can increase the number of desktops you can say which one you want as your initial desktop. Uh, you can do start with Windows. That's what I would do. Check for updates. Run as administrator. Um, show list of profiles. 
and that's pretty awesome because um, you can save profile uh, you save on exit and then you can basically select the profile that you want so if you have a that um, an env environment where you let multiple people use the same computer you can um, stylize everything to to anybody's hard content and you can load your own profile when you boot up the computer uh, right, so we have um, appearance by default you can do a tray icon you can do one icon per desktop you can do no icon and or like previous next uh, one icon per desktop current desktop only or no icon it's basically what you want uh, the default is fine for me I quite like this this setup um, let's see we don't need, need this uh, right components well here you can like basically um, set up how the desktop environments look like full screen and major speed you got knows what else controls here it is alt one goes to the first one next and previous are not defined yet so you can do that uh, move the windows alt shift one so if I have a window here that I want to move to desktop 2 you do alt shift 2 and it will go to the one um, I can move windows and switch so that's that you move the window there and you switch to that current uh, to that desktop copy the window is uh, shift control so you want to have windows in both desktops or into all you can also do that transparency is transparency rules you can make stuff more transparent or less transparent same goes for this one like window menus and god knows what else desktop components are like the catalog and everything you can go through these but you can really customize it to your art content and this is switching desktop you can um, uh, give names to them so and if you have multiple monitors you can uh, make it so like only monitor one has the multiple desktop feature and the second one doesn't for example or you want to have them both or you want to like have two on the one and two on the other or whatever so that's pretty cool uh, when switching and then you can basically uh, set up the names but uh, I don't need to do a desktop name plugins and extras are you can do desktop so you get a 3D effect um, when you want to transition between desktops Dex grid is you can do them in a grid layout so you can have keys that say I want to go to uh, the one below me instead of only next or a number so that's pretty cool uh, mouse events is hot corners and mouse wheel switching so that basically if you move to this corner in the, like top right or bottom right or bottom right I won't do but top right you switch over to another one or uh, like to this one you switch automatically to the next one or you can scr wheel scroll uh, 7x is integrates the button so that's very handy desktop uh, makes yeah you can um, set up a slideshow as a tech demo to show you know your uh, different desktop backgrounds or desktops um, send it to this preview yeah so this is desktop preview that's basically here and then you can see all four that's like like in Linux you know you have the one two three four and then you can kind of see what's going on there it's not really what I want and the wallpaper clock is you can do a different clock in every desktop which is sounds cool but I don't really need it um, the only thing that I would do is I would do that one uh, and okay, you can configure that and I'll say top right is um, arrow flip 3D. That sounds pretty fucking awesome. Okay, and the mouse wheel is use mouse wheel to switch the desktop. Mouse wheel type is vertical, yeah, because I only have one vertical. And trick these are alt control. So alt control uh, scroll will go. So apply, apply, uh, apply. Yes. All right, all right, all right. So if we go here, it should work, but I'm in a VMware, so that's really not, ah, damn, that doesn't work. This should work, and it does, as you can see. 
Uh, it's fucked up my settings. That's pretty nasty. Uh, that should go in here. It's tools, media, editing, and security download. There you go. That's the one. Mm, that one doesn't work. That's too bad. That's too bad, man. I so would have wanted that to happen. Mouse events configure. Top right, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it didn't work. Well, it doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter because the other one works. So, uh, does that does that work? For some reason, my hot corner doesn't work, which is probably due to the fact that I'm in a VM. So when I leave the screen, it probably doesn't recognize that I'm trying to get that to work. So I'll just uh, do that. So now no more mouse screen. I can only zoom in. What does this do actually? Yeah, that one I can understand. If you didn't know about that trick before, here you go. Uh, crap, now I need to. Small icons. That, there we go. Um, you can zoom in if you hold control. So that's um, but that's it for DexPod, um, a application that you can run to have multiple desktops within Windows.